Good morning, folks. Today we've got two stories from beneath our feet, two stories from deep space, and we'll swing past Jupiter on our way back home. But we're starting, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com. No eruptive activity. We see a very calm last 24 hours on our star. Couple plasma filaments, corona holes, and the X-ray flux, the solar flares, remains flatlined. The plasma filament on the south coming in, thin, that will be the only eruption threat in the coming days. That means it's all quiet on our star right now, and it's quiet at Earth as the solar wind begins to lose intensity as well. Geomagnetic storms are over. We could see a re-intensification of the solar wind due to the Earth facing coronal holes, but until that time, you do know we are going to have a brief seismic uptick. Largest of the last day was a 5.6 on the eastern Pacific Ridge. That often heralds further activity to come in the Americas. The other note beneath our feet, Sinabung in Indonesia erupted yesterday, not like its 2010 eruption, but anytime this one pops off, it is visible for miles and miles, shuts down airspace, and folks have to evacuate. Interesting story about the cometary exoplanet. You might remember this one. It orbits very close to its star and is losing atmosphere at a phenomenal rate. Well, many questioned whether or not it was a planet or a comet, and now that has to be questioned even further as we found it has a polar orbit around the poles of its star, not around the equator, which is a big point for the comet factor. Up next, no axion-like particles found from supernova generation. Folks, this paper says it as cleanly and clearly as it can be stated. Every paper that discusses axion-like dark matter that came before this one needs to be revised as their constraints are way, way off. So folks, here on Earth we have something called the quasi-biennial oscillation. The equatorial winds change positions every two years. Well, it turns out on Jupiter it is every four years. There's a fantastic animation of how this works and a pretty good article to go with it. Jupiter looking a little bit like Earth in that perspective. Coming next to a very fascinating article about a narrow mantle upwelling in the upper mantle pushing against the low velocity zone of the crust. Where? New England. Specifically, underneath New Hampshire. We have mantle areas bubbling up, sort of like a hot air balloon pushing up against the asthenosphere. They do say it could take as much as a million years for it to reach the surface. I hope I'm not alone in being more curious about the other end of that scale, which they did not give us. Folks, we've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.